The connection between the mosquito and West Nile virus is now widely documented. Cases of the virus have been reported in every state in the U.S. But researchers still aren't exactly sure how the virus causes brain and spinal cord infections in humans and animals. This research team at the University of Southern Mississippi is studying the mechanics of West Nile virus as it relates to animals and working hard to develop a proven treatment for the virus and ultimately a vaccine. Michael is working on West Nile virus in um, animal model. So here in USM we have animal uh, research facility and also we have um, biosafety level 3 cell culture facility. So we handle real viruses for research. Dr. Bai is widely known as one of the nation's leading West Nile virus researchers, which led to a partnership with Methodist Rehab and UMC in Jackson to create the nation's first ever West Nile virus research network. Graduate student Amber Paul has spent years studying these conditions from both labs and class settings and found it fascinating to meet people who've been infected with the virus. I got to meet patients um, in November of last year for the first time that had been infected with West Nile virus at some point. Um, and it was really, it was eye-opening to see the types of implications that come with the disease. So that sort of makes you appreciate the bench work when you actually can interact with patients that suffer from these types of these problems. The research network is designed as a three-year project, but participants hope their partnership will continue in the future as they are closer than ever to developing a vaccine. People have been working on it for a long time, so it's not going to say that we're better than anyone else in it, but we are working very hard to really try to push our research to the next level. From the University of Southern Mississippi, I'm Leigh Lassery.